modify apical dissection and lateral prostatic fascia preservation improves early postoperative functional outcomes. In this video compilation, we will describe step by step the evolution of our conventional robotic prostatectomy after 10,000 cases. We divided this video presentation in four key steps to compare the differences between both techniques. In our conventional technique, we used to begin the procedure with the endopelvic fascia opening to assess the prostate apex to apply the DVC and suspension stitches. The Santorini complex stitch used to be performed after the endopelvic fascia opening and apical dissection. The traditional technique described one single stitch at Santorini complex before the suspension stitch step. We used to apply the suspension stitch after the endopelvic fascia opening to replace the pubeprostatic ligaments divided during the apical dissection. This step is not performed in the current technique because the apical anatomy is preserved. The main difference between both techniques regards the apical dissection. In the conventional technique, the dissection tends to go further into the urethra and both pubeprostatic ligaments are divided. The first step of the current technique is the bladder neck opening and dissection, preserving the lateral prostatic fascia and pubeprostatic ligaments. This, in this technique, we do not use the suspension stitch. In the current technique, the endopelvic fascia dissection is performed after the posterior prostate dissection and the lateral prostatic fascia is preserved. After clipping the prostatic pedicles on the left side, the assistant applies traction on the prostate during the lateral and apical dissection. After the prostate dissection, we can visualize the pubeprostatic ligaments and the lateral prostatic fascia preservation. The apical dissection in the current technique is performed underneath the pubeprostatic ligaments.
With this technique, we perform the DVC control with a running suture. Here we can visualize and compare the apical anatomy in the end of both techniques dissection. While in the conventional technique, the neural bundles and the elevators can be visualized after the prostate removal, in the current technique, the elevators and neural bundle are protected behind the fascia. 2,168 consecutive patients underwent robotic prostatectomy by a single surgeon. The data were prospectively collected, and after a propensity score, these patients were matched with a group of 104 patients who received our new technique using a modified apical dissection with lateral prostatic fascia preservation. After both groups' comparison, the modified technique presented a faster operative time with faster continence and potency in one week, six weeks, and three months follow-up. In conclusion, we describe a modified radical prostatectomy technique with minimal apical dissection and lateral prostatic fascia preservation. This approach was associated with a benefit on early functional recovery compared to the standard robotic prostatectomy.